My artist name is Cho, and I'm a Chinese Canadian music producer based now in Los Angeles. I'm a dance music producer. I make um, a specific genre called speed house and a little bit of bass house. Music was a, definitely a big, big thing for me growing up. I actually grew up in China. I didn't really get to experience like electronic music until I moved to America, and it just like ignited a fire in my uh, in my body. I actually did uh, finance in college, and after I graduated from. Columbia, I went straight into Wall Street, like investment banking. I hated it so much. In my second year of finance, I figured like I really should start picking up some hobbies like to do outside of finance. So I started taking some DJ lessons. I got very interested in production, started learning a lot of things on YouTube. I was using FL Studio. And I think what kind of like the trigger point was me for me was like in I think in 2018, Avicii passed away. You know, Avicii is one of everyone's favorite producers and is what I listened to like a lot back in the day. And it kind of triggered me a lot. I was like, wow, like life is short. You kind of have to pursue what you love to do. If you don't, who knows what's gonna happen? Like you have to go for your passion. And so I was like, well, screw banking. <laughs> Let's try music. Mentor-wise, I have a lot of great mentors from Icon. Halfstrack is a really good mentor of mine. I've been touring with him lately. I also say like Steve Oki is also like kind of like a great mentor of mine. I don't talk to him a lot, but you know, I think he just is very inspiring from a work ethic perspective and from like a discipline perspective. These days I always start with like finding a piece of melodic vocal. The vocal is a way for me to give myself more like a prompt of, of like, okay, let's narrow it down to this key and let's work within this key or one semitone up or one semitone down, but let's stay in this range and see what we can do with the drop. In a way, I try to pack some emotion with some energy. Then that's kind of like my own way of doing my production. Sometimes not your most complicated production is gonna work out the best. Sometimes it's most the most simple thing and the most catchy thing that goes viral. So it's kind of like, for me as a producer, is a little bit of a constant battle between making something really simple and catchy or making something that shows off all your production skills in one song. You know, so it's always kind of like a balance of it. I think a great song is memorable. Some of the songs that goes viral on TikTok may or may not be great songs, but they're very memorable and catchy. And that's what stands out these days. So I do think being memorable is very important. Having a very catchy melody or top line, like if you want to hear it once, you want to hear it again, then you know it's a really good sign that it's a great song. 